Here, babe. Read. What am I reading? It's all the things I've been putting down about this, my new idea. Which new idea is it this time? Read first now. Are you a fun, loving and good looking person? Do you want to join the community of other fun, loving and good looking people? Would you like to pay for a good company or be paid for being a good company? The bridge escort service is the answer? Michael, how many times do I have to tell you that I do not support this escort thing? And how many times do I have to tell you that I never listened? I am going ahead with it. No, you won't. This is like starting up a brothel where people pick girls for sexual pleasure. How does that affect the price of getting in the market? Eh? As long as they are old enough, I'm fine. Michael, you better think up another business idea because I will not support this immorality. Actually, I have another business idea. Just that that one is capital intensive. Well, you better try it out. But you don't even know about the idea yet. Any other business idea you think of is better than this particular one. Michael. Okay, if you say so. I'll go and start working towards the other idea. reads for sale. I can read what it says. I mean, what does it mean? It means I want to sell it. Are you joking? <laughs> Apparently, you are the one who suddenly doesn't understand simple English. Why would you want to sell our car? I want to sell my car because I need the money to invest in the business. Well, if you need money to invest in a business, go get it somewhere else because I will not let you sell our car. <laughs> Look, honey, I know that the pastor told you the day we got married that we are now one by the virtue of marriage. Hmm? But sorry to bust your bubble because this is my car and I bought it way before I married you. So I will do whatever I deem fit with it whenever I want to do it. Really? commercial buses in Lagos anymore. Huh? Oh, so you want me to jump buses, eh? And show the whole world that we're suffering. Before, Uncle, are we not suffering? Eh? You and I have been laid off from our jobs for the past six months. Is that why you now want us to show the whole world? Oh, look, we are suffering, eh? Look, that car is one of the sources of joy in this marriage and I will not allow you to sell it. Listen, I need capital for my new business. Since you said I should not start the escort service I was going to start, which wouldn't have needed so much capital. 
Michael, you and I know that all your business ideas never end well. And I'm very sure this one will not be different. So I cannot let you take that risk. Oh, thanks for your no vote of confidence, eh? Now, can I have my key? This one. Come and take hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. Michael! Oh! Give, 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 Michael, listen! Can you be eating while your brother and his wife are fighting? Respect yourself. Oh. Does it look like I'm in a good state to interfere in a fight? Yeah? Or was it not two of them that joined forces and inflicted me with this injury? Simply because I suggested a money making venture for them. You told him to sell his kidney. Does that make any sense? I was only trying to help. Shut up and try not to help next time. It's better. Exactly. That's what I'm just doing. I will never interfere in anything that has to do with them again. Even if they want to kill themselves, eh? I will just stay on my own. I will just pack like Saturday they see again. But what truly really happened? Why were they arguing? You're asking me. I don't know. And I don't care. You're very selfish. Same to you. Which man chooses to sell the only car we have in this family? For a bit that we're not even sure if you can buy a half of Michael. How really do you think? I don't understand. <laughs> eh? You're, you're Don't talk to me, Michael. I know you're a stubborn man, but you see on this issue, you will not win. So you're not a vampire that bites people, Abby? You were twisting my arm. Do you want to break my hand? I was trying to collect my key. This one. Come and take it. Uncle Michael, Auntie Annabelle, you people should not allow the devil in your home. Hey, thank you for your concern, but no thanks. Get out. But you're fighting. Did you hear, Michael? Leave us alone. What did you want to see? Where were we? The point you were about to give me my key. <laughs> this one. Never! Michael, this key, you will not get it. I have friends, Michael. If you sell the car, my friends see me dropping buses. What would they say? Don't, don't even annoy me. You, you, you want to sell car? Come and sell it. And who is supposed to wash your dish for you? Are you blind to see that it's only one of my hands that can walk? That didn't stop you from eating, did it? You just only two dishes now. Eh? Will you reduce your lifespan if you help me wash them? Say please. Uh, do I have to? No, you don't. And I don't have to wash your dish as well. Oh yeah, please. Was that so hard? You like what I pass five sha? I can say the same thing for you. Speaking of quarrel and fight, Uncle Michael and my sister seem to be serious at it this time. I have never seen him raise his hand on her before until today. He didn't raise his hand on her. That was the picture I saw when I came in. See, my brother was only trying to retrieve his car keys forcefully from your sister. So don't let it seem as if it's uh, domestic violence. That's how it starts. It can be classified as domestic violence in some countries. Well, you and I know that this is Africa. So your sister should have respected herself to, to have allowed my brother to do whatever he wants to do with his car. Okay? But 
Why would Uncle Michael want to sell the car? <laughs> you asking me? Do so or do. Because I want to use the money to start farming and poultry. Seriously? Yes, I am planning to go back to the village, you know, to start farming, poultry, piggery and fish farming. So you plan to drop your BSc certificate to become a farmer? Yes. It's either that or I continue with the escort service business. So, if I allow you to carry on with the escort service, you won't sell the car? No, we wouldn't have to sell the car. I mean, the only thing I need to start up the escort service business is internet. And I don't need to sell the car for that. Well, maybe this escort business isn't really a bad idea. I'll think about it. And I'm sorry I beat you. It's okay. I'm not angry. You've forgiven me? Not exactly. I want to bite mine back. <laughs> Preferably on the lips here. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> The reason I called this meeting is to register my disappointment with you, Kizito. What did I do now? What did you not do? My husband and I were here having an argument and you were so unconcerned. You were busy drinking Gary like a refugee dying of starvation. True. Let me see look at your application. No? What was I supposed to do now? You would have tried to make Peace. So that you will still gang up and break my other arm, Abby? <laughs> Once beaten, twice shy. Hell. Why are you two blaming Kizito? Oh. I tried to make peace, but you sent me away. Well, let it be at least that he tried and then we sent him away. See, I tell you, I've learned not to interfere in husband and wife issue again. Not before my head will break or could not. Well, moving on to a more important issue. I have been discussing with my wife and we have decided to start the escort service business. Which one is that? I hope it's not security escort. Eh? See, eh? in this one, count me out. Count me out. I don't have big chest to do security escort. Shut up. I am not talking about any security agency here. What we are starting is like a social network platform for fun-loving people. Sis, is this what I think it is? Yes, it is. <laughs> so pretty. I know, right? <laughs> How do I look? It's lovely. <laughs> like, I need to upgrade my wardrobe, too. Eh, hey, sis, um... Are you sure farming and poultry is not the best idea your husband has ever come up with? Since he started thinking of what business he could do. So, if I let him sell the car and the business fails, we go back to square one? What if the business succeeds? I won't let him take that risk. That car earns me prestige amongst my friends and my family. So you would rather him venture into an indecent business of escort service? Well, this is 21st century. People make friends every day on Facebook and other social media networks. Just see this like we are creating a, a, a pool for people to meet in person, depending on their preferences. I told you what happened with the guy I had such arrangements with the last time. Yes, 
you did. And you were smart enough to run away once you started acting strange. Hey, I'm sure other people have the same option. Okay. What if one of your clients is a psycho? A serial killer or a rapist that laces people's drinks just to take advantage of them? Oh, wait. So you thought of all these things and yet you decided to accompany a total stranger for an escort service? Zaza. Yes, I did. I thought about those possibilities. But you still went after all. Yeah, that's because I was careful, observant, and smart. Hmm. Not every girl would be that smart. Okay. Well, then we will orientate all our registered members before we set them off to meet their preferences. I can see your mind is made up. It's the only way to stop my husband from selling the car. Thank you, Chief. You see, our escort agency has the most beautiful girls with mind-blowing shapes. <laughs> <laughs> Your shapes blew more than my mind. Blew my brain. I am guessing you would love to have one of them. One? Can't I have three at once? Um, actually, that's against our policy here. What sort of a stupid policy is that? Is it not my money I'm going to pay you? Well, in that case, I have to discuss with the management and get back to you. Oh, you don't worry about yourself about that. I saw the office address on the internet already. It's just 50 minutes drive from my house. I will come and discuss with the management myself. Okay, then. <laughs> Better. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, he said he'll be coming over to discuss with the management. <laughs> Kizito, go and call him back and tell him that we will not grant his request. No, 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 Kizito, don't do that. Um, let's allow him come first. Hmm? If he gets here, we will convince him to take one lady instead. If he insists on three at a time, we'll try and tell him to go with one now and he can go with the rest later. Exactly. <laughs> eh? I disagree. I disagree, Michael. How can we be that, that sort of disrespectful? Eh? What does he take women for? And eh? if I talk now to be that a woman, woman advocate, how can he? <laughs> I don't blame you. You are laughing because you're a man. And that you even want three of them at once. Um, but. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But no, but. Tell me how much will it cost so that we can negotiate? Um, Chief, this, this is not really about money. Oh. Mm -mm. Everything in life is about money. If you don't have money, you are only existing. Let me tell you, my name is Chief Oberika. Dibwa Yidanda of Ibuland. The only son of his father. Hmm? I can spend any amount of money on a beautiful girl. And um, Chief, that is very good. But um, Chief, we we would want to, you know, advise you to to take the ladies, mm -hmm. you know, one after the other. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, Michael. Where were we? 
Um, I was at the point where I was trying to convince Chief to take the ladies one after the other, not oh. to take three ladies at once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm very sorry, please, please forgive me. Uh, uh, I've changed my mind. Mm, I don't want three ladies anymore. I just want one. Oh, that's very good. Uh, I want this one. Mm, you. Uh, excuse me. No, I will not excuse you. Uh -uh. I won't excuse you. I see her and I like her. Yes, I like what I see. Um, Chief Obierica, mm. this lady is a senior staff in this company. Um, she's not um, one of the registered clients. Is it my business that if she's a senior staff or a junior staff? I said, I like this one. How much will it cost me? Look, if you see all our registered clients, you will fall in love with them. Mm -hmm. If you see them in person. A bed at hand is the very bed. There's no longer bed in the bush. You think you want to show me those your Photoshop photo, photograph in your office? Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. This one is what I want. Uh, <laughs> Chief Obierica, uh, thank you for the compliment, but I am not <laughs> available anymore. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. You are valuable. No, no, you are valuable. What will it take for you to be available? Just go out with me once. Just once. Oga, I said I am not for sale. Everybody is for sale. Ah, everybody is for sale. Hey, everybody is for sale. Name your price. Name your, you'll be surprised I will double whatever you're asking for. Are you sure about that? Very serious indeed. That, you see, figures. Mentioning figures is valueless to me. Look, my name is Chief Oberika. The boy he danda of Ribo land. So, I can give you money, any amount you want. <laughs> well, in, in that case, uh, please excuse us, sir. Uh, Michael, can I see you inside? Oh, right behind you. No problem. Um, I want to sincerely apologize for what just happened. Um, I know you must be angry, but that's not a problem. I would um, ask him to leave. Why are you apologizing? I'm not angry. You are not? No. And there's no need to send him away. Well, you ought to be angry, though. <laughs> Far from it. Look, I called you up here because I want us to, to discuss how much you ask him to pay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Since he is willing to pay, uh, I'm thinking we should call a price for him such that if he agrees, then I'll be his escort for one night. Are you serious? Yes, no. I'm even thinking we should charge him like mm, two million naira. Hmm? Imagine what two million naira can do for us now. You must be sick. How can you even let such thoughts cross your mind? How? But you are the one who brought up the escort business. You want to run an escort business? This is me being supportive in my own little way. You should be ready for the consequences. Hey, hey, see, rest yourself. Rest hmm? yourself, you're going to get me angry. You're not going anywhere. Hey, hey, hey. Michael, I'm not leave joking. me alone. I'm not joking. Michael, leave me alone. Ha. Annabelle, rest what? yourself. Rest yourself. What's wrong with you, eh? Oh, wait. Your wife can not run escort, but other people's children can. I think, Michael. Michael, leave me alone! See, you're Michael, leave me alone! Really, get me really leave angry. me! You get me really angry now! Michael! You're leaving me! Michael! Leave 
Yeah. <laughs>